Yesterday morning, I told you that the brain is just an instrument of the mind. Do you remember that? You are not your brain. You are not your body. You're not. The brain is the instrument of the mind. It means that the quality of your mind equal, the quality of your thoughts is going to create your brain. If I open your skull, I won't, it's way too messy, but if I would open your skull and take a, take a microscope and look into the brain, that is what we see. We see brain cells called neurons. Neurons are brain cells made of thought, of energy, of electricity, if you want. <laughs> Do you know what cotton candy is? Yeah? Da. Da. You like it? Da. it? It's pretty amazing how they make it, yeah? They take a stick and then they fly it around in this special machine and all of a sudden you have sugar on a stick. Your brain looks like cotton candy. Really? Because this, I mean, it's not that big, right? It doesn't even fit your hair. Yeah? It's tiny little wires of electricity. <laughs> this is what you are made of. Electricity wires with, with plugs, and that's a plug. And in that plug come many different wires, and now we have a thought. That's the ana anatomy of thought. You see that? The anatomy of thought. That is what your thoughts look like. So in your brain, Different thoughts connect, and now they make a series of thoughts. And when we make 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts a day. Why? Because all these electricity wires in the brain are connected. And your brain goes... All day long, and you don't know it. And that's why you think the same thoughts over and over and over again. And that is why it is so hard to change. Because you are hardwired to think what you think today. It's in your anatomy. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's take it one step further. Now here you have a series of neurons firing together. That's how it goes, yeah? So one cable now fires electricity equal thought to another cable. And all these wires are connected. And every time we think something, we fire electricity to our cables in the brain. Are you with me? Yeah? Do you like it? It's a metaphor, but a very strong metaphor, because there's no, there's no difference between this and your brain. You have millions of these. Millions, really. Thought is energy. What do you think flies through this? What's electricity? <gasps> it's energy. You cannot see it, but put your fingers in it, you will know. Right? So, neurons fire together, you know, and they make series of thoughts. And now there's something really cool extra about it. Ah, let me show you one thing. If I want to fire my ideas, I would plug this in, yeah? If I make a thought, if I make a new thought, let me give you an example. Yesterday we were talking about your dream. You were sitting, you were sitting, and this is what you were doing. Oh, we like.
like each other. Ooh, maybe we can make out. We love each other. That is creating a new thought in your brain. That is exactly what it is. So every time you make a new thought, new cables ooh, start looking for each other. And then they shake hands and they say, we like each other. We match. Now we have a thought. So don't tell me you don't know what you want. You only know what you want if you are willing to make new connections in the brain. And you do it by creating new thoughts. So for every new thought, millions of these wires now are produced and they are searching for new connections. And that's why we get in conflict at some time, because we have an old thought that is still very active and vivid and, and, and very strong, and then we are now producing a new thought, you know, to create a new future, but then that is still very fragile. You know, the new wires that fire together is still... But it's not plugged in yet. Your old thoughts are hardwired. It is plugged in for years. All your convictions, all your habits, you know, these are the electricity cables in your brain that are plugged in for years because you believe it. What did I tell you yesterday? You will never outperform your own self-belief because you are hardwired for that belief. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, one step further and then I'll let you eat. Let's take a very close look now to where these cables meet. This is the same, guys. Yeah, you understand what I'm doing? You understand that this, this, and this, where these cables meet, yeah? where the plugs meet, yeah, is this, enlarged. So what we are looking at is this. Are you with me? You understand what, what we are doing? So now comes the freaky mumbo jumbo, just before lunch. The cables are the thoughts, but the little Chemical balls, do you see these chemicals? Yeah? These are called neurotransmitters. You don't have to remember that. It's mind expert stuff. Yeah, if you become a mind expert, I teach you that. So the, the chemicals called neurotransmitters are feelings. Ta-da! The first time you think of your dream, now thousands, you are creating new thoughts. Thousands of wires are looking for each other in your brain. And it goes... That's why you are tired after a day like this. You go like, oh, I did a lot of work. And these wires say, tell me, I was doing the work. But the, the wires that, that connect together, now fire together. They don't touch, look, they don't touch. This is, they don't do this, boring. They don't have to. They stand in front of each other and they send out chemicals called neurotransmitters. And that is when you fall in love with the dream. So it is practice, it is training, it is sitting down and doing the work that is, con that is going to produce new wires in the brain that set you up for a new future. This is no esoteric, wishful thinking, imaginary craziness, you know. This is neuroplasticity. This is neuroscience. It is proven that it works like that. So, for every new connection you make, and we're going to do it after the break, yeah? You want to make new connections, somebody? No. You want to do that? Who wants to do that? Ah, you're my people. I love you. 
So we are going to make new connections until you feel it. And once you feel it, you produce these chemicals in your brain. And now your brain is biology, in the biology, preparing you for your future. Isn't that freaking awesome? Isn't that freaking awesome? I can find evidence in your brain for your past and for your future. Now here's the last thing. We have three more minutes before the break. Here's one more thing. If we wire new neurons to each other, and we make new connections in the brain, and we start to produce new neurotransmitters. We, produce, we prepare ourselves for our future, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes. What do you think do we have to do? Well, I'll drag them back to the past. Because you have old connections in the brain, right? You have memories. Hardwired memories with emotions and feelings of the past. And now you're in conflict because this is still active. Every time, every time you give energy to the old connection, you make them stronger. You make your brain stronger for the past. That is why it goes automatically. So what do we need to do with the things of the past? Thank you. Disconnect. And it is absolutely possible. It is actually, once you're aware how to do it, and you'll need training, it doesn't happen overnight, yeah? If you spent 40 years feeding those cables, <laughs> and you know, now we're just, you know, starting to wire you up for the future, you see that there is a transition, yeah? And that is called transformation. Biology transformation. You literally become somebody else. I can see it in your brain. But once it is locked up in your brain, piece of cake. Whew, piece of cake. But you need to let go of giving the attention to the things that you do not want. You need to learn to forget about it. But you know, you have, once you become somebody else and you give all the energy to this life, you forget. It does, you don't care anymore. Yesterday morning, I, I started this training by asking you a very important question and now we are in the heart of it. We have one more afternoon, guys. One more short afternoon to, to prepare you for your future, okay? We're stepping into the future now, okay? Yesterday morning I was telling you, if your present would be everything you want it to be, would you care about your past? No, and that is where I want to take you. That is why you need to go, otherwise this is going to be way too strong. You get that, right? You get that, that your past, yeah? One more thing, I want, I want you to get it. This is the past. You don't know that you do it and you do it. Why? You don't have a replacement. But once we have a replacement, ha, 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 let's make new connections. Let's find new ideas and new feelings and emotions. You are going to forget about that. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Is this a good lecture? Yeah. I love it. Not because I'm giving it, but because it made my life so simple. Oh, I get challenged. I have my setbacks. We have our problems. We have our challenges. People stab me in the back. It happens. It's called life. But I'm prepared because I know what it takes to change that. And I want to teach you that. Okay, are we good for lunch? Yes, happy? Good class, I love you.